There's no news here except yellow fever and politics, and I don't know which is the greater curse. I prefer the fever. Politicians realized that Louisiana had plenty of other things worth stealing besides votes, like money. And the best way to take people's money was to get them to hand it over freely. Of course, they didn't call it stealing. They called it a lottery. The 19th century Louisiana lottery was a private firm that had been given a monopoly on the numbers racket by the state legislature. They were notorious for paying off both sides of the aisle. Whether Republican or Democrat, it didn't make any difference. Whoever was in power was still beholden to the state lottery. The corporation sold tickets nationwide, bringing in an estimated 20 to 30 million dollars each year. Much less than half of that was paid out in prizes. That's why the Louisiana State Lottery Company could afford to make Louisiana's politicians the best bribe leaders in the country. At the center of the lottery's power was the state treasurer, an almost legendary rogue named Edward A. Burke. He was, without question, one of the strongest figures during this period. And he's also, given the history of Louisiana, this may be a, a, an incredibly monumental achievement. He's probably the biggest crook the state has ever known. Eventually, the federal government would bring down the lottery. As for Edward Burke, he disappeared in Honduras. An audit of the state treasury revealed that nearly $1.3 million had vanished with him. But while some got rich from stealing, others stubbornly insisted on doing